The Crock-Pot controversy. Back in 2008, it blew up all over the natural health and wellness world. It was all over the news from a Salt Lake news station that Crock-Pots, 20% of them, the glaze on the inside of the ceramic pot that comes out contain lead. Man, since then, the Crock-Pot controversy all over. Every blog out there, are they safe? Do they contain lead? Man, we have to get to the bottom of this and figure out which crock pot us natural health and wellness movement type people want to use for our families. i got a little girl down here. We don't want to get lead into their bodies, into their bones, into their brains, causing learning disabilities, learning development, learning, de um, learning delays and developmental delays as far as growth, muscle growth, bone growth. Man, it leads to all kinds of problems, both in the short term and the long term. And as we know, lead builds up in our bodies over time. Even the Mayo Clinic has recognized this, that lead poisoning happens over, over time. It may never show up in your blood, but it's contaminating us, building up in our bones and in our nerve tissues. A very toxic substance. We should take this serious. Thus, I'm so happy about the blogs that are making the truth on these topics. I'm going to grab my daughter because she's a little distracted, and we're going to have some buoys, as we say, berries, up here with us. So come here, Rayla. Oh man, this thing is really stuck. Come here. Boom. Yes, we have some berries here for you. So, the crock pot controversy continued with the Ray and my daughter having some berries. Let's get right at it. One crock pot that I would 100% not use or utilize would be a Teflon lined crock pot like this product right here. I'm not going to say the names, we can learn them out later, but Teflon, as you know, everyone watching this should understand by now that crop, um, Teflon line pots and pans, get rid of them, especially if they get started getting scratched. This needs to be thrown out. I borrowed that just today for this show. Now the other types that we're talking about with the lead, the lead glaze, or they say that they're lead glaze, there's a lot of different products, home products, that you have to watch out for that may have, have lead glaze. So even if it's, we're not talking about a ceramic insert crock pot with the, the glaze, it's a clear glaze that they put onto that to seal it in the ceramic curing process, we have to understand that there's all kinds of products out there that have glaze on them, coffee pots, pots, um, your dishes, all these things can have lead glaze. So you really want to do some research in general whether all products have that. The crock pots are a big one because as you're cooking them and cooking with them, Inside, the, if there is a glaze, it can leach into the food. But through my research, the back in 2008, I was up just looking at this research study online that they found in 20% of all crock pots that there was lead contamination leaching from the crock pot into the food. Not good. I'm going to put a regular down. And so the crock pot controversy went. Since then, most crock pots, in my, my opinion, likely don't have a massive amount, if at all, lead contamination. I think some people caught on to that. Some people have done some other research, some XRF, X-ray, fluorescent studies, just some general stuff. And the reality is there hasn't been a lot of lead contamination found. The one company that I saw consistently online that didn't have lead, uh, lead in the glaze was Hamilton Beach. They actually said that our products don't have it. Even though the FDA does allow for a small amount of lead contained in the glazes, Hamilton Beach is saying no. The crock pot back in the day that found this, and this is nothing against Rival today, because from what I found, um, there's a good chance that these, these glaze within these pot products are fine but that was the one that they found the most lead contamination back in 2008. Putting that all aside, when my wife and I, who's shooting this video, did all of our research, we found the Vita Clay. It's a 100% organic clay pot inside and out, and this is 100% guaranteed lead free. And when it comes to your family and crock pots, even the ones that Hamilton Beach, all the other ones out there, crock pot, rival. If there's this chance and this loophole within the FDA to have a little bit of lead in the glaze and with what they found inside of that study, I'm just not going to risk it. So we went and purchased the Vita Clay. And not only has the Vita Clay been an amazing product as far as not having contamination, the eight cup, even though this is bigger than eight cups, the eight cup Vita Clay multi cooker 
has actually been a massive blessing. The, the thing cooks two to four times faster. We put roasts in it, and two hours we have it back. The food is amazing, it's moist, it doesn't dry out. So I'm a huge proponent of the Vitaclay. I actually bought this to test it out so I could actually shoot this video for you guys. And we absolutely love the Vitaclay multi cooker. It makes rice, stews, soups, it has all kinds of fancy um, cooking options and warming options. It's just a much better machine. I love it. You can get it now at Walmart on all these different sites. This one um, has a price price point probably right around $140. You can get some coupons online. I'm absolutely a huge proponent of the Vita Clay and it avoids any of that controversy. You don't even have to worry about it because we know it's 100% guaranteed not to contain lead because it's not made from ceramic or doesn't have glaze on it. It is 100% organic clay pot. There's no controversy here, guys. This thing is lead-free, toxin-free, and it's just a better cooker, so I recommend it. For the extra money, and if you're using these a lot, to dispel any fear and have a better product, go with the Vita Clay guys. Warren Phillips, Inogenics Wellness. Stay healthy and enjoy your children and your life. Take care.